Section 3 of Claimants to Royalty. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Max Schoeninger. Claimants to Royalty by John H. Ingram. Chapter 3 The False Antiochus of Syria. B.C. 186. A pretender to the name and titles of Antiochus, surnamed the Great, King of Syria, is mentioned by several ancient historians as having appeared after the death of that monarch. There is an unfathomable mystery, however, about the whole affair. This celebrated sovereign, having acquired considerable renown by his wars against the Romans and his efforts on behalf of Greek freedom, eventually falsified his subjects' expectation by giving way to all kinds of debaucheries and enervating excesses. The last scene of his life's tragedy, which followed fast upon his misdoings, is so variously stated by different writers that it is absolutely impossible to extract the truth from their diverse accounts. He is generally supposed, after having been defeated and put to flight by the Romans, to have been assassinated. Pliny the Younger asserts that after his overthrow he fled to Mount Tamus, and there endeavoured to drown his troubles in wine, but that, at last, growing quarrelsome and tyrannical towards the companions of his debaucheries, they one day put an end to his existence. Whatever may have been the manner of this monarch's death, all historians agree that after that event an impostor named Artemion was induced by the wife of the deceased king to come forward and pretend that he was Antiochus. Solinus states that this man was of ignoble birth, whilst, according to other authors, he was a relative of the late monarch. Instructed by the queen, he appealed to the people to protect the interests of his putative wife and children, and the people, believing in his identity, at once declined to elect anyone for sovereign not approved of by the queen, and she, Leodike, if Pliny's somewhat ambiguous terms are read rightly, placed a diadem upon the head of Artemion. Nothing is recorded of his subsequent fate. End of The False Antiochus of Syria Recording by Max Schoeling.